Hello students and parents. This is a brief tutorial on how to use a smartphone to capture GIS or Geo Information System data. Remember, GIS data, geospatial data, is any information that's tied to a physical place or location. This year we're going to be working on a Geo Inquiry project. This project's main question is, how can we make water more accessible in our community? One of the things we need to know is, where is water in our community? So in order to do that, we're going to go out into the field and gather data. The first thing you'll want to do is to download a free QR reader from the App Store or the Google Android shop. Uh, that way you have this on your phone for when we go out into the field. I will have paper copies of the QR code that you can scan. Literally, you tap on the QR reader, you scan the QR code, and that will instantly take you to the Survey123. Survey123 is a product that's built by Esri, uh, which also makes ArcGIS. These are online cloud mapping tools. The first thing that you'll want to do as you open up the survey is to sign in. If you are a student, you need to use your student ID number 01 through 29. If you're a parent, please give your first initial, middle initial, and last initial only. That's all we need. We just want to keep brief and protect your privacy. Once you've signed in, what you'll be doing is going through a series of a couple of questions to gather information. The first thing uh, after you sign in, and here I'm signing in as student number 30, the first thing you'll want to do is identify what is the potable water source you found. You've got a drop down that you can choose from. You'll want to select the one that's most appropriate. So here you can see uh, drinking fountains, you can see uh, water bottle filling stations. Container provided at site means you've gone to a store, a grocery store, or a fast food place, restaurant, you've asked for water and they give you a location, or a cup, excuse me. The next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to go ahead and mark the location. This you want to be very careful with. Um, you'll need to tap the map one time to set the location. The second you tap the map, you're not done. The next thing you'll want to do is to tap the little bullseye, which is right below that home logo. That bullseye is going to zoom you in on the map to where you are at that time. If you notice, there's a little blue marker. This will always start out above Folks Ranch Elementary School. That was the way I set it. So once you tap the bullseye, you're going to need to allow ArcGIS and Survey123 to use your location. Go ahead and allow this. They're only going to use your location while this uh, web browser on your phone is open and while this survey is open. They won't track you after this. Once you tap that, you might find that you're so zoomed in you can't see where you are. I like to minus out with the little minus button to get an idea of where I am. I know right now that this is in the terminal at BWI Airport because I took a data point just a few minutes ago. I realize it's the data point uh, in the terminal because the terminal was light colored. So I'm not going to zoom out anymore. I'm going to go ahead and click OK in the top right corner. And now you see my latitude and longitude has been set precisely. Um, when it comes to the location of potable water source, we want to know where you found it besides just a point on a map. You can choose from these um, uh, multiple choice uh, answers as well. So I'm going to go ahead for this one and type other. And once I type in other, I can actually add the name of the place there, or I can just go down to the next question that asks for what is the name of the location? Once you've typed that in carefully, please go on down and take an image of this. And what you'll need to do is just click here to upload file. Once you click, you can either take a photograph right away or you can upload a file from your camera roll if you've already done that. It's easiest just to take the photo at the time. Once I tap take photo, I'll go ahead and frame that shot. Please make sure that you've got the entire uh, filling station or fountain uh, in the shot. If you're in a restaurant, um, I wouldn't take a picture of the person giving you the water, but I would take a picture of the restaurant from outside. Once you've got your picture uploaded, um, a couple of questions that we want to fill out. This one, would you be willing to fill my reusable water bottle? You would only ask this if you're going to a place where you have to ask for water. Since an airport's a public place, I'm going ahead and clicking not applicable. Next question, would you provide free water to someone who came to your establishment? Again, this is only something you need to ask if you have to ask for water. If it's a public fountain in a park or if it's a fountain in a public building, no need to ask, so it's not applicable. This
this question would only be asked if you were declined water. So if you went into a grocery store or if you went into a uh, restaurant or a fast food place and asked if you could have a glass of water or fill a water bottle, um, if they decline no, you would politely ask, well, why is that? Um, given what they answer with, you will want to select which of these is most appropriate. Is it a store policy? Is it the cost of the cup? Is there a health code issue? Is it a dress code hygiene issue? Um, at Disneyland, they won't fill water bottles directly. Uh, they will only fill a cup and then pour it into your bottle. At Starbucks, they will fill your water bottle, but they will not handle the cap of it. So you have to take the cap off. Again, we want to understand why people may not be getting access to water. And then last step is submit your survey. You've completed a survey one, two, three. You've gathered GIS data, and you are helping us build a map to tell the story of how accessible is water in our community. Thanks for your time. Appreciate your help.